Dear students, today we are going to learn about cryopreservation of uh, mammalian cells. Mammalian cells can be cryopreserved and maintained for many years by uh, careful preparation. So this protocol can be used to successfully cryopreserve primary, normal or continuous cell types from either anchorage dependent or suspension growth systems. Let us start the experiment. The very first step is to clean the uh, laminar airflow chamber with 70% uh, ethanol. So this is a crucial step. So then we need to sterilize the chamber with UV radiation. So we are switching on the UV with the, the tip box, the pipette and everything inside, cryo vials. So the materials required for this experiment HEP G2 cell line, that's the cell line that we are going to cryopreserve it's in the tissue culture flask DMEM medium Phosphate buffer saline, trypsin, fetal bovine serum. dimethyl sulfoxide. Cryo vials or ampules. The first step is the proper labeling of the cryo vials. So you need to properly write the name of the cell line, the passage number, and the date you are cryopreserving the cells. So now uh, all the materials are ready. So we can go into the actual procedure. So first we need to remove the used medium from the T25 flask. The medium needs to be discarded. So the next step is to, you need to add PBS to wash the cells. So 
so you can gently tilt the flask so now we using the micro pipette you can uh, remove the bbs and uh, discard So the next step is to the addition of trypsin to the culture flask. Now gently you can shake the culture flask and you can also mildly you can tap the culture flask and you need to incubate the culture flask in 37 degrees for 3 minutes in CO2 incubator. After the trypsinization step, the Hep G2 cells which are anchorage dependent becomes spherical in shape. So now equal volume of uh, cell culture medium needs to be added. So the medium that we are using is DMEM medium. So again mildly you can shake the culture flask. So now you can transfer the medium with the cells to a 15 ml falcon tube. So the next step is uh, a small aliquot of the medium with the cells is taken to do the cell counting. Once it's done, so we can uh, go to the centrifugation step. So we need to centrifuge at 1500 RPM for 5 minutes.
while the centrifugation is on so we have some time so we are going to make uh, cryo medium so a cryo medium you need to add fps We need to add FPS to a new 15 ml tube. And then DMSO. So dimethyl sulfoxide. So this is the cryoprotectant. So now the centrifugation step is over. So you can see a clear white pellet. So we need to remove the supernatant. The supernatant needs to be discarded without disturbing the pellet. Now the cell pellet needs to be resuspended in the cryo medium. So 2 to 4 million cells per ml needs to be aliquoted into the cryo vials. So all the cryo vials needs to be transferred into a cryo box. So initially it needs to be stored at 4 degrees for 20 minutes and then the cryo box needs to be transferred into minus 20 freezer and needs to be stored for 4 hours. And then finally it needs to be transferred to 
minus 80 degree celsius freezer for overnight storage so the next day we need to transfer the cryo vials into a cryo can containing liquid nitrogen so this is the complete procedure for cryopreservation of mammalian cells